I'd like to welcome you to the ASP.NET Web Forms Development course. Throughout this course, I'll introduce you to several key technologies you need to know as a .NET developer to build successful web applications. We'll start off by introducing the .NET framework and different tools you can use to create ASP.NET projects. From there, we'll move into ASP.NET server controls, data access techniques, including object relational modeling tools, or ORMs, and we'll even talk about AJAX enabling your web applications. From there, at the end of the course, we'll talk about what does it take to deploy an application. There's several different techniques that will be covered there. Now in this first module, I'm going to introduce you to what is the .NET framework for those that haven't dealt with it very much before. I'll also talk about a really nice free tool from Microsoft called the Web Platform Installer, and we're going to use that to install Visual Studio Web Express. Once we do that, I'll introduce you to what Visual Studio has to offer as far as project management, and then we'll jump into how do you create ASP.NET projects and what are the different types of projects that are available. Now, as you pick different projects, there's different compilation models that are used. So we'll briefly touch on that and demonstrate how they work in each type of project. Finally, at the end of this module, I'll build a simple Web Forms application for you. And we're going to use some fundamental core server controls. We'll build this application, add a little bit of code, and help you jumpstart the process of building your applications. From there, as mentioned, we'll move on to more sophisticated techniques that allow you to build dynamic web applications that can integrate data from different types of data sources. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we dive into ASP.NET Web Forms and the different tools that are available for building Web Forms applications, let's take a brief look at what the .NET Framework has to offer us as developers. Now, if you're already working with the .NET Framework and familiar with it, then you can certainly move on to the next section on the Web Platform Installer. But if you're new to the .NET Framework, I'll provide an overview of what it is and what it offers us as developers. So to get started, the .NET Framework really is just a managed computing platform or environment. It provides a way to write code and execute that code. Now, that statement alone makes it sound pretty simplistic. If I take it up a notch, really what the .NET Framework is is a library of software along with a secure runtime environment that also handles memory management for us. And that's the term managed. It handles our memory for us and manages it. Now the .NET Framework uses something called the Common Language Runtime, or CLR, to actually execute code. And this also applies to ASP.NET Web Forms. So if you write something in, say, C Sharp, which is a .NET Framework language, then you'll need to have the .NET Framework itself installed on your web server if you want to run that code with the, within the ASP.NET runtime framework. Now, there's a lot of different languages available. c Sharp's just one of them. Visual Basic's also very popular. And there's many others. In fact, there's over 25 different languages that are actually out there in the wild that you can use. As you're using these different languages, you can build a lot of different types of applications. So you can build, of course, ASP.NET Web Forms or desktop applications or even distributed applications where we might integrate or build web services. Now, regardless of the type of application you build or the language, everything in .NET is object-oriented. So we'll be talking throughout this video series about classes, and we'll apply object-oriented principles as we're doing it. Now, if we break down the .NET framework into a little more fine-grained detail, you'll see at the bottom of this diagram we have the common language runtime I mentioned earlier. This is what has to be there to run your ASP.NET Web Forms applications. You have to install this on your web server. Now, the common language runtime provides this secure environment I talked about, provides a way to execute and run code, manages memory, and it also allows languages to interoperate with each other. And each language is really treated as a first class citizen, whether you're doing C Sharp or VB or F Sharp or J Sharp. Now, all languages share a common type system across them. So we don't have rounding issues, for instance, with decimals. You might have a team within your company that's doing Visual Basic and another team doing C Sharp. And those applications may, might integrate and exchange messages. Well, because every .NET language, is, language uses the same type system, 
we don't run into rounding issues and other issues that typically come up when you exchange data between applications. So it's very smooth regardless of the language uh, that you're using in .NET. Now the .NET framework provides a library of software and the core of that is the foundation class library FCL or you might also hear base class library or BCL. This is the core set of classes that allow you to do things such as read and write to files or streams, uh, integrate with different security mechanisms, perform cryptography, do globalization of your application for different language support, and much, much more. Now sitting on top of that, we have a very robust data access framework. So we can integrate with everything from Oracle to SQL to lots of other databases out there that are ODBC, OLEDB, or other driver type of compliant. We can also work with XML and parse it using fast forward only readers or we can load it up into memory as well and even edit it. Now as mentioned, you can build ASP.NET Web Forms, Desktop, Windows Phone 7, web services and many types of applications using one of the languages listed above and there's many more than this but this is some of the popular ones available with C Sharp and VB being, being the most popular. All languages are based upon a common language specification. So when it comes to ASP.NET Web Forms, you can pick one of these languages and rest assured that even if you use a component from another language that's a .NET compatible language, they'll still interoperate just fine. And again, you won't have these weird issues in talking between languages. And that's because they're all based on this common language specification or CLS. Now the thing that really makes .NET super compelling, at least for me and over the years of using it, I think this adds greatly to your productivity as a developer, and that thing is Visual Studio. The integrated development environment, definitely my preference for editing code. Now you can certainly use other editors out there, whether it's VI or something simple like Notepad to build your .NET applications. But Visual Studio provides not only a simple way to write code, but a visual way to design interfaces. You get excellent code support as you're typing, what we call IntelliSense, and much, much more. I can do a lot within this interface without leaving it. And it's the glue that ties everything together. So in the next section of this module, we're going to install a version of Visual Studio using something called the Web Platform Installer. So let's go ahead and jump into that next part of this module.